Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. What I like to do here on my channel is to just help simplify the beauty community and skincare community one video at a time. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my empties. Empties from like three months of empties. So there's a lot of products here, so buckle up. I mean, really with all of my videos, they're kind of long. So if you are subscribed to my channel, you kind of know that and that's just kind of the gist with my videos is I like to talk about things for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into them. So what I'm actually going to do is something a little bit different for my empties videos. I'm actually going to start with the duds, things that I didn't really care for, and then I'm going to work my way into my favorites. Product number one. This is the Tammy Fender Antioxidant Cream Neroli and Orange Cream. This is a cream that I received in my Beauty Fix subscription box a couple months ago, maybe five months ago. I don't remember how long ago, but I've kind of held on to this thinking that I could bear through it because of the smell. This, <laughs> I think it's valued at this tiny little 0.5 ounce moisturizer was something ridiculous. So I think these have custom blended formulated. I don't know why it was so expensive, but we got it in our beauty fix. I was really excited to try it out because the ingredients looked really nice, but then you open it up and you take, oh my gosh, oh, you take a big whiff of it and it smells like, like stinky feet pizza. It's just really bad. And you're supposed to put it on your face. No, I just couldn't. I couldn't even put it on my, I couldn't even put it on my hands anywhere because of how bad it smelled. And it's not expired or anything. It's just the way the natural product smells. And I'm not going to be finishing this up. So I'm really not going to pass it on to anybody because I highly doubt anybody will think that it smells good. So Unfortunately, that's a no bueno. Okay, so I don't really have a lot of bad products. That was the main really bad one. The other, now that we're getting into the like, meh category. <laughs> the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. These are highly raved about on YouTube, at least my community circle of 10 YouTubers that I watch. And these are just little hydrogel pads that stick nicely underneath your eye. They are to help plump up your eye. Uh, under eye, not your actual eye, and make you look more awake and just more hydrated. But they are okay. They're just not. They're they're just not worth it to me. I would rather just put a hyaluronic serum on and let that in my skincare routine just kind of help pump things up. Just didn't find that it really made a big difference. I liked the cooling effect. Um, I liked that if you if you do find that hydrogel iPads uh, work really well for you, then maybe you would like these ones because I have used some that really slip off and slide off, but these stick really nicely, so I was able to walk around and you know do things while I had these on my face, which was really nice. So I liked that about them. I just didn't really feel like they made enough of a difference for me to want to keep buying them, especially because they are more of a higher end skincare brand. Now we have some shampoo. This is the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Treatment Shampoo. This helps to neutralize the brassiness, enhance, enhance shine, sulfate and paraben free, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I've had this for quite a while. I actually haven't used it all the way up, but I think I've had it for two years. Maybe not two years. That's, that's a little crazy, but a long time so I probably isn't as effective anymore and I just never really cared for this formula because it dried out my hair a little too much okay, it's pretty much everything else I really like <laughs> so that was a really great scale Jess <laughs> I don't know I guess I didn't really have a whole lot of disappointing products this little Pacifica sea foam complete face wash this is a really nice face wash face wash I liked that it smelled really nice. It smelled like coconut, but not overly coconutty. I liked the gel consistency of it. It was just kind of a, it wasn't creamy, but it wasn't super just plain gel face wash. You know, it, it had some nice 
feel to it. So when you put it on, it just kind of glided on nicely. I just really enjoyed it. It didn't lather super much. It didn't feel stripping on my skin and I really enjoyed it. So I have definitely considered getting a full size of it, but I have quite a few cleansers that I need to work through before I buy a full size of anything. So yeah, Pacifica Sea Foam Complete Face Wash was a good one. Another face wash that I really enjoyed was this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Makeup Removing Clean Gel Cleanser. So this, it, I wouldn't say it really removes makeup very well, but it is a nice second cleanse. Like if you take a balm cleanser, an oil cleanser, or um, micellar water, and you take off your mascara and your heavy makeup, and then you can go in with this, um, as your second cleanser. I took this on vacation with me and I used it up there and it was really nice. Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I don't really think I need to go into much detail on this if you have been with my, me on my channel very much. I talk a lot about this. I really like this little um, cream. I actually bought a full size of it last year. So Belief comes out with a full size of their moisturizing balm plus other little things for the same price as a moisturizing balm. It's like a Christmas little deal they put together and so I picked that up. So I have a full size of it that I kind of, um, when I travel, I like to put some of the full size in my little travel size so I have some with me. This is just a really soothing cream, great barrier on my face. If you don't like the feel of something heavy on your face, then you might not like this. I would direct you direct you towards like the aqua bomb but I really like this as a sealant <laughs> kind of um, before I go to bed it's almost like a mask and uh, it's just really comforting just I just don't know how they do it. I don't know what the ingredients are in their belief products so they're maybe the comfrey leaf something in there just really is kind of luxurious and makes it feel super soft and just so good <laughs> All right, I'm gonna talk about three serums and oils real quick um, if you want more details on them, I do have details on these in, on my Instagram, but I don't, I have so much stuff I need to get through, so I don't want to like go into too much of length other than to say this Youth to the People, uh, Makai and uh, Acai Prickly Pear Goji Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. This is really nice. It is, it was my favorite lightweight oil in the summertime. It's a really nice lightweight oil and I liked using it, like I said, in the summertime in my morning routines. So this, yeah, I've, I've considered getting a full size of this, but again, I have a lot of different oil blends, so I'm not picking up the full size of it, but it's a very good one. The Biosance Squalane Plus Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is a really nice rose oil. Uh, it's squalane based and it has a slight scent of rose to it. This is a tiny little sample of it but I only use like two little drops of it and pat it into my skin in the areas where I feel like I really need that. But squalane if you're unfamiliar with it it's a very kind of thinner oil that soaks in really well. It's good for oily skin types or combo skin but I have dry skin and I just like using a lighter oil in the summertime. I like using a lot of light layers in the summertime, and so I definitely enjoyed this a lot. The Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. I have wanted to try mushroom more in 2018. That was one of my kind of written down goals <laughs> to myself is to try more mushroom because I've heard that mushroom is really good at keeping in moisture, like drawing in moisture. And so um, I really enjoyed this serum. It, it wasn't ta tacky or sticky. It didn't have a fragrance to it. It soaked in nicely. I used this to carry my um, Drunk Elephant D Bronzy, and so I mixed both of those. It was really great with that. I did feel hydrated. I kind of went back and forth between using this and Jordan Samuel Hydrate Serum, and which I'm almost out of that too now. But uh, I just I did enjoy having this hydrating serum in my routine in the summertime. And I want to check out more from Volution because they just have really beautiful packaging, but they also have good ingredients too. So, and they, I think they have mushroom as a big part of their, their line. So really neat. I do have a couple other serums here. This is the Edible Beauty Exotic Goddess Ageless Serum. I really like this serum. This was in a favorites, one of my favorites videos last, this past summer. It's like this, but it, this is like its mature older sister who's had a little bit more time to 
kind of settle and get more body. <laughs> like this ha is a thinner serum and this just had uh, body to it. It had some thickness to it. It took a little bit longer to sink in, but that was fine because of the plumping that it gave and because of the long-term hydration that it gave. It's a, it is an expensive serum, almost luxury, but um, I really like Edible Beauty's stance on things. It's a smaller business. They're from Australia. There's just a lot of things in there that just kind of draw me to them. This also has uh, what they claim is kind of pear that is the world's highest concentrate of vitamin C in it. And so it was kind of like adding a vitamin C serum in a sense, more of a stable vitamin C serum too. So really enjoyed this. I've definitely considered getting full sizes of this and another Edible Beauty product for like during the Sephora VIB sale, but I held off on it because um, I still have quite a few products to work through, so I didn't want to just get that and not work through my other products. Another serum is this Hadalabo Anti-Aging Hydration Deep Hydration with Super Hyaluronic Acid. Hadalabo, I don't know where the lid is, <laughs> but this is more of a drugstore price brand. Um, it's Japanese. I really like everything that I've tried from them. I've tried only three things, I think, from them so far. They have a really great cream that is almost like the Belief Aqua Bomb. I've tried their cleanser, and that's a nice cleanser. And then I also have tried this, and I got this at TJ Maxx. I, um, I do like it. It's a nice, thin, very thin serum. It's fragrance-free, really great ingredients. Even Dr. Dre approves of Hada Labo, so you know that it must be, <laughs> must have some good ingredients in it. So if you can find these, even at my grocery store, they sell um, Hada Labo. I would definitely recommend trying these out even before, like, a belief. You can kind of like work your way up. If you realize you like this, then maybe you would want to try something a little bit more expensive or maybe you would just settle and be great with Hada Labo. I know I probably would, so I just like trying new things a lot. <laughs> but if I had to stick to, you know, one kind of brand for moisturizing and essence and that kind of hydration, um, they also make a Kojung, Kojung Do, I don't know, some kind of really liquid hyaluronic acid essence that I really want to try someday soon. It has like five different sizes of moisturizingness to it to be able to go to different layers of your skin and it just sounds so cool. So I really want to try that out. Okay. I'll get off of my uh, Hada Labo fantasies. <laughs> All the hair stuff. I know I already talked about some hair, but let's just do other hair stuff. Okay. Now we have Pureology. Pureology was um, highly raved about to me by Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom. She loves the Pureology line and the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging line. So I was able to get sample sizes of both of these. I think I like Pureology more than Alterna. Alterna is a really nice hydrating shampoo. Definitely felt more than like my grocery store type of shampoos. So I really like these, but I think these are the winners. Um, these also, I like the, the fragrance of these. I don't think it's a added fragrance. I think it might be a natural fragrance. It smells like peppermint, which I think is really nice and invigorating. I take my showers in the morning normally, and so I just love the smell. And I love the feel, kind of the coolingness of the peppermints, and it hydrated, but it didn't really weigh my, my hair down. I only, I have really fine hair, and so a lot of hydrating products can make my hair really feel heavy or greasy. The conditioner was quite lightweight and just really made my hair, hair feel very healthy afterwards. So again, this is the Pureology Serious Color Care Hydrate, um, the condition conditioner and the shampoo. And then we have Living Proof's Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is good. This is really, really good. I got these, I think, buy one, get one free. And so I have, I think, three of them that I've been working through. So it's just really good. It, it actually cleans the hair. I think it really helps to soak up the oils and actually not just volumize my hair, but when I'm really needing, you know, on my third or fourth day of not washing my hair, I am showering, but I'm not washing my hair, <laughs> um, then I will use this and it will really help perk up my hair and make it not look as um, oily, but it also won't look make it look super dry. 
does leave a little bit of a white cast, so it's not too bad though for my lighter hair color, but it might be might be a little white casty for darker hair, I'm not sure. But I really do enjoy this dry shampoo. This is the Raw Sugar Body Wash. This is vanilla bean and sugar. It was great, it was good. It didn't dry out my skin in the winter time or in the springtime. Um, it smelled like vanilla and sugar. <laughs> really have nothing bad to say about this. I actually bought their hand soap that I have in my guest bathroom right now. It's a really pretty bottle and it makes lets your hands smell like yummy vanilla afterwards. I just really like it. Speaking of vanilla, we have the La Vanilla, the Healthy Body Butter, and this is a thick, creamy moisturizer. I bought this on Derm Store's website. I liked mixing this with the Brazilian uh, Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream because it helped dilute the scent a little bit. It helped kind of stretch out how much product I would use from the Boom Boom Cream because it is quite expensive, but it complemented it because of it was kind of the same warm notes. It doesn't use harsh chemicals or all of those different things, you know, dyes and parabens and mineral oils and propylene glycol and so 100% healthy skin is their claim. So that's another thing too. It's nice. I would use this like um, when I have my little tiny babies and I want to have them on my, my chest and my skin and um, I don't like to wear scented or any, any kind of lotion on my own skin that will transfer onto their face or onto their little bodies. And so I try to stick with lotions like this, especially when I have little babies. Um, but yeah, that's a little side note. Another <laughs> moisturizing product here is the Paula's Choice Resist Body Oil Spray. Unfortunately, I think they discontinued this because it's not sold on their website anymore, which, yeah, that means they discontinued it, right? Um, but it is sold on Amazon, so I think I might have to pick it up on Amazon. I've been debating whether or not to try a different body oil spray, but they're really expensive, the other ones. This one is so good. I, I keep it in the shower, so right when I turn off the water and I still have, like, water beads on me, I spray this all over, and I kind of just tap it in or pat it into, and it seems to really lock in the moisture right then and there. When I towel dry, I just kind of like pat pat dry. You can spray it like upside down to get all everywhere, you know what I mean? So it was a great pump, but unfortunately they discontinued it. Mmm, I was really bummed. Yeah, like I said, other body oils that I've looked into are really expensive or they have added grossness in it that I don't want to spray all over myself because Paula's Choice didn't have that and everything is now going to be held up to the Paula's Choice standard and <sighs> it is $25 for this little thing though so $25 is expensive to get it full price on Amazon when it, Paula's Choice had their little coupons that's when I would get it and I just can't do that anymore and I'm bummed okay moving on now La Vanilla. Back to La Vanilla. So I like their body cream and I also like their deodorant. This is the only deodorant that I wear and I it lasts me a long time. So this is like an $18 deodorant. Crazy, I know. Like I used to, I used to love Secret. I think it was Secrets, like a gel so you didn't see the white marks, all that kind of thing. And it was like three bucks. So when I saw a deodorant that was like $18 or $14 or something in the teens, I was like, what? But it lasts me a long time and it's natural. It doesn't have aluminum in it. <sighs> there are studies that are now coming out again that maybe the aluminum and the deodorants really aren't getting into your bloodstream. But my mom had um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and so all that kind of stuff just seems more relevant to me when you have a family member who had, you know, cancer with their lymph system and the armpit is where she had her the lumps and all that stuff. So after that happened, I wanted to switch to a natural deodorant and a lot of natural deodorants don't work for me, but this one really does. It is the sports lux kind. I do have one that I'm using when I know that I'm not gonna sweat a lot. It's the non-sports lux. I picked it up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like $4 and it's the uh, vanilla lavender one. And it works okay, but when I know that I'm going to be sweating or when I'm going out, I will definitely use this one. And so I always pick them up whenever I get a 20% off coupon, either at Derm Store or at um, Ulta, because 
yeah, why I don't, I still don't like paying teen, you know, lots of money for my deodorant, but it did last me probably five months. So I think that's, that's pretty good for, you know, applying it every single day. <laughs> All right, two sunblocks. So these two sunscreens are really great. Um, I recently talked about this one. I think it was an Instagram post, so it wasn't YouTube. <laughs> wrong thing. I really like using this especially in the cooler months because it is it's very moisturizing. I actually don't need to add a moisturizer before my sunscreen when I use this product, the Pharmacy Green Screen by the way. I don't know if I said what it was. And it's SPF 30. I really do like using SPF 50 and so this was really great until I met this guy. And this is the Clinique Pep Start Daily UV Protector Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen as well, and it's like this creamy, beige, yellowy tone to it, which really doesn't, you don't really don't see it once it blends in, but what you, what it helps with is kind of counteracting or balancing out that, that white zinc that you can get on your face. So I really like this a lot. I haven't purchased a full size of it yet because I do have other sunscreens that I'm working through, but once I am all done with my sunscreens that I bought to review, I'm going to be picking this up because this is my favorite. It is very whipped feeling. It's not too heavy, but it's also not drying. It doesn't, it's not a matte finish, but it's, but it's not like a really super shiny finish. This is quite shiny. I think this is 1950 for the full one ounce. This is just a tiny little point something ounce, 0.34 ounces. So if you are looking for a great sunscreen, a mineral sunscreen that you can easily pick up at Ulta or at, you know, Sephora too, um, I would highly recommend this one above all other sunscreens that I've tried. And I've tried about 15 sunscreens this past summer. I don't, I don't know why I went sunscreen crazy, but I did. And so, yeah. I'm going to show you what's in these foils. So this is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I love Sunday Riley Good Jeans. It's a chemical exfoliant. And I brought this little packet. It was perfect for my week vacation that I went on. I went to Myrtle Beach with my husband for a week. And I knew that one day that I was there, I was going to want to kind of exfoliate. And so I just brought this packet. I used it one time when I was there really great little lactic acid. These actually, I just received them from Bliss. So thank you, Bliss. These are their new, that's Incredipeel. <laughs> so Bliss is a cruelty-free brand that is sold at Ulta and also Target. Um, so they're not super expensive, but they're also not like super cheap, but they're kind of mid-range, almost like Pixie. It's kind of like the Pixie skincare if you know what i mean anyways these are pre-moistened little pads i think i kept one in here so it's actually quite a big pad here that you unfold and that you just kind of swipe over not the eye area just swipe where you would want to have chemical exfoliant on and it actually was quite strong it wasn't super strong it wasn't like painful like some things that i've tried but it was stronger than like pixie glow tonic but yeah it's a glycolic resurfacing pad I used two of these so far. I like them for when I'm just tired and I don't want to think and I just pick out that and, it, um, and open it up and, and put it on my face. <laughs> so that's when I like to use them. I also think they would be really good for traveling. So these are the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clear Invisible Dots and I've used both of them up. At, somehow they, I used them at the same time. A couple months ago, I broke out really bad. Not really bad. In, Compared to what I normally deal with, which is barely any type of breakouts or acne, it was quite bad for me. And I think it was because I started drinking coffee a lot back in September. I drank coffee every single day and my body wasn't used to it. And so I had a lot of different breakouts here and there. So I used quite a few of these on the, um, during that month. I think that's why I used them up. But they are little stickers, little like clear stickers that come on this thing different sizes for how big your pimples are. They have some kind of acne treatment on there that you peel off and you just kind of stick on your spot and you can sleep in them and they won't fall off. And they've really helped to bring the stuff to the surface and to kind of almost, they bring it to the surface and when you peel them off, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but it, the stickerness of it almost peels off that little thin layer. And so I think it kind of gently pops it 
Um, so I kind of, I'm curious of, you know, asking like a dermatologist if these are good because I can see the benefit of having something concentrated on that spot for that long and having a sticker because you don't want it to come off or rub off on your pillow. But I've used them. I've used 24 of them. <laughs> so I've found really good results with them. But as far as like dermatologist's opinion, I'm not sure what that would be. Hmm interesting okay I'm gonna end with two pharmacy products here and that is the pharmacy green clean and the pharmacy honey potion so the honey potion is a mask I've talked about it before here on my channel it's just a really great brightening honey mask that um, warms when you rub it in and it you leave it on for up to 20 minutes and it's you wipe it off and you kind of have um, glowy skin and it's one of my favorite wash off masks. The, the Pharmacy Green Clean, it is this really pretty green cleansing balm. I don't know if I like it more than Clinique Take the Day Off Balm or the Hamish All Clean Balm. It's more expensive, I think. It's prettier, like it has this really pretty green color to it. But uh, as far as the effectiveness and what it's actually breaking down your makeup, I feel like it's very, very similar to Clinique, but it's more expensive, so I like it. I just wouldn't spend the extra money on it, but it really comes down to the product that you love to use because taking off your makeup is a huge crucial step. Even taking off like your um, waterproof sunscreen, that is a really, really important step every single night to do before you sleep. So if you aren't going to reach for a purple plastic Clinique take the day off balm or something, but you will reach for a beautiful pharmacy thing that has this really pre pretty green sherbet look to it and a beautiful smell then maybe that would be why you would want that product so that is everything for my empties i do have a couple more products but i just couldn't i couldn't make you guys sit here even longer than what i have so thank you so much for sticking around with this very long video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you will stick around and subscribe consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you be part of this little community that I have here and I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.